my village. I saw myself in front of our house, and then that point has been where one particular old woman always stayed. And then no, no firstborn daughter ever gets married until the age of 38. But then I saw the woman engulfed in fire, and I'm still in shock right now. Thank you, Jesus. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. You are still in shock that the woman has caught fire or what? After so many years, that thing has been there for I don't even know. Are you the first daughter? Of my mom. You're the only child of your mom. So you you now think that you marry at 38. God punish the devil for you. Somebody give the Lord a shout! Because I've not been home in um, about four to five years now because there's been one thing or the other going on, one, one kind of attack or the other going on. And my father is from a Muslim family, so they are always against my family. But I saw that one, one of the houses there got burned completely. I just want to thank God because I know that I am not to be plagued anymore. And my family is not to be plagued. I'm going to get married at their prophet time. I'm going to have my first child, my second, my third, my fourth, my fifth. I'm praying to God. says that his right ear deafness has been healed. Right here. Now he can hear clearly. Glory to God. Glory to God. Then we have um, this person saying that a mysterious slump and swelling has just disappeared in the moment of worship and pain. There, there, there was someone like a hard thing the right side of the abdomen like a stone. Ah. The right side of the abdomen gone. Come. Come. I remember I said that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Come fast, fast, fast. Come. We're about to close, please. Yes. I promise you, we'll so close. Praise God. I've been having pain in the rest of my abdomen for like two years now. And it's like it comes and goes. But I've, I've been praying about it, but later I, I got tired. But when Pastor just mentioned it, and I just, normally when I finish praising God, it comes back again. But I just, checked. There was nothing there. I was completely free. Nothing. I was not feeling the pain. And I, I was good. Glory to God. Let's celebrate Jesus for that. Amen. Praise the Lord. Most times after I say I am out of work or they say I'm jogging, etc. So many things happen like my right side of my abdomen just starts spinning me like serious. Like, it's like I just have to stop and then take my breath. So when I was dancing during the praise, our teenage came, I was like, there's no way I'm stopping, there's no way I'm stopping. Teenage kept on paining me, during the worship kept on paining, all of a sudden it just disappeared. I said, I just helped my right, well, like, it's not going to be there. Done forever. Amen. I'm going to just take one, 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 one male, one female. No more. Someone had an instruction from God for the whole people. One male, one female. One male, one female. Oh. Okay, let me eliminate again. The instruction was about his worship. Welcome. Anike, come. Son, come. That's all. We're close. Give it to her. Let me hear. Stay there. Praise the Lord. He said, he said, tell them, tell them I've accepted their praise and worship. And I'm so glad and happy with them. That's all he said. Praise God. Jesus is glad. He's glad. He's glad. Our praise and worship that we accepted. Yes, sir. Praise God. Um, he showed me the stages in worship. He said, from the words, you translate to the song. And from songs, you translate to tongues. And from tongues, you translate to greater tongues. And from greater tongues, you translate to groanings in the spirit. And the groanings in the spirit is a stage where you reach, where you cannot see anything more. All you can only do is just to hum in the spirit. Nothing more. That's right. Very true. Very right. Glory to God. Hear this and hear this well. Everybody had a torch. 
everybody had an encounter everyone student under the sound of my voice that mind is no longer your own for you now have the mind of Christ and you know all things you know what this is going to culminate into listen to me as a son of the most high as a direct connection of my father Bishop Bideko. you know what this thing is going to culminate into let me tell you it's going to culminate into you knowing all things before they come that's your amen is looking for my trouble you hear me you hear me son son Saturday Sunday Monday first paper or Tuesday first paper but before Monday or Tuesday you will know the questions that are coming hear me because there's no distance in the spirit the same law that has shown you caused you to experience the power of his presence that same law will reveal to you that which is to come and I decree by the power and the might of heaven that as you go you go with his presence can I say something here I'll be stupid to de deceive you as an instruction for my father on Wednesday I packed sand from the tabernacle and I poured them on this altar and poured them at the love entrance can I say something to you do anything as occasion serves you as we close anything that is something the Holy Ghost whispers in your heart to do do it it may look foolish it may look demeaning Ooh, but it's going to make sense it's going to make news it's going to give you a testimony just anything God is not straight jacketed just maybe lick the ground, lie on the floor touch the altar roll by the entrance or any of the entrance just maybe sit on whoever's chair just maybe stay in here until a particular time just maybe whatever, but make sure you do any instruction that the Holy Ghost says to you. Lift up your two hands. We give you all